today is a great day. Because it's... it's our nine years anniversary. Yep, we've been married nine years today. It's so surreal. <laughs> and the other thing about it is that I'm leaving for Switzerland today. Yay! And Liechtenstein and... And Austria. Yep. Yeah. I have this trip planned with my sister. I have a few days alone and then I'm going to meet up with my dad in Austria. And I'm going to try and find some ancestors and stuff down there. So it's going to be fun. This girl is a little bit part Swiss. Yeah, I have a small part Swiss in me. So I'm <laughs> going to go and check out that country. Yeah, but we've been married nine years. What's yeah. been the best for the nine years? I think figuring out financial stuff and getting to a place of more freedom and time together and stuff. Yeah, I think we knew each other for three years when we got married, but I think that now we are really best friends. Mm. And we spent so much time together because we worked together and we really got our dreams aligned in some way. Yeah. 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 Okay, see you guys later. Bye. Bye. We are in Interlagen and this morning we woke up to this view, look at it. So we're heading off to the train station. This was just an overnight stay. Say hi to my Hi. <laughs> We are heading into the Lauterbrunnen area and I am so excited. This is something I've always wanted to do. And now, finally, I'm going. I can't wait. It's amazing! Well, we locked up our luggage and now we're heading into the valley to see some beautiful waterfalls and take some pictures. <laughs> she loves photography. She has this huge camera. So, I'll be doing the video and she can take the pictures. <laughs> Everything here is super idyllic. They have wooden houses and we're not getting anywhere because we're taking so many pictures. It's like being right in the middle of a postcard. It's not tacky and touristy. I mean, it's not filled with souvenir shops or anything. It's still very local. They have all these gardens everywhere. It seems like a lot of people grow their own stuff. It's pretty cool. You have to remember to stop and smell the flowers when you're in nature. This is kind of crazy. There's a tunnel you have to go through these creepy iron steps and look at it. The mist from the waterfall is raining down. I should have brought my raincoat. Okay. Let's get through this without getting wet. Ugh! This is really surreal. I walked up here and thought there would be a view platform, but it's just this tunnel that leads up to a place where you're actually kind of under the waterfall. So all the water is coming out here. Over there. Whew, that was steep. There's a water fountain. I don't know if it's drinking water. It doesn't say trinking water, but I think it's safe, so we'll just save the money. It tastes really good. <laughs> and it's cold. It's good. We're sharing. The portions here are really, really big. So we're saving the money because it's really expensive. My ears are popping. <laughs> we're going up to Muren, which is a small village that we'll be staying in for three nights. Yeah, three nights. But we have to get on this lift to get up there. Two young fellows met out in the street yesterday. One was shabbily clad and he tried to avoid the well-dressed one who held out his hand. Are you going to cut me? This is the most idyllic little place. It's so quiet, no cars, 
flowers and a really nice view everywhere. Lots of wildflowers actually. Look at that. They are advertising for the best cheese fondue in town at our hotel. So you never know, but we're gonna check in now. We arrived at our hotel and it's kind of old and kind of run down. And our bathroom and toilet is down the hall. Well, we have a sink in here and it's kind of, yeah. And on top of that, it's raining. And uh, it's really cloudy on all the peaks. So we're just gonna have to kind of get over this a little bit and regroup and find out what we wanna do and try to have a good attitude about it. Maybe we should go eat some cake or something. We're drowning our sorrows in hot chocolate. We went into the most expensive hotel and now we're getting desserts. So we're just gonna eat our way through the bad weather. <laughs> One chocolate mousse per person because we're chocoholics. <laughs> we're eating dinner just across the street from our hotel and I am going to try some cheese fondue. <laughs> I've never tried this before. <laughs> he said that it's four different cheeses. I wonder how warm it is. This is so good, it's ridiculous. But I'm not gonna be able to eat that whole thing because that's just too much cheese. I don't know how anyone does that. <laughs> We always have new adventures coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to join us and see where we're heading next.